And welcome back to Open Everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee from WBLS. Bursting onto the scenes in the 1970s, our next guest, uh, well, they burned up the charts with their soft love ballads and their fast joints, too. Hey, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. Here to share more about their journey uh, through music is Black Ivy. Uh, and we're here. We're thrilled to have you guys here. Yeah. Pleasure. We got, we got awesome, Russell man. Stewart. And my man, Leroy, Leroy's in the house. <laughs> Bam! Yes, All sir. Right. Now, you guys have been in it for a long time. I want to say 40 years, at least. Exactly. You guys were 10 when you first started. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been 40 years. We've been um, fortunate to have, uh, have continued to be do music for this long. So yeah. as long as we can, as long as we got breath in our bodies uh, we want to continue to do it yeah well we've seen you guys in concert doing your thing people throwing things up on stage uh, <laughs> items and stuff yeah all right clothing been, been years since that's yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's it uh, <laughs> <laughs> only thing they throw now, now is tomatoes and stuff <laughs> they, <don't get> that <laughs> <laughs> oh, they threw good things up on stage oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay the gestures of uh, yeah yeah we used to get bracelets all they, the time they, yeah they throw garments at us they used to throw jewelry at us yeah, yeah. yeah. some of it right. used to hurt Blame. too because you know you'd be singing in the boom <laughs> 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 they throw five dollar bills 20s no you wouldn't what you know they made it rain <laughs> so you guys been around for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, you've toured all over the place. What's the, the thing that you remember most about what you do? Just uh, one of the things I remember most of, about what we did is uh, just the fun that we used to have on the yeah, road. You know, uh, you know, most of the time we we traveled around. We traveled around in in caravan of cars and, yeah. and vans and stuff like that. And it was just hours and hours of you know hanging out together and uh, you know yeah. clowning up. You know, I know you know you you don't want to get loose and say everything, but I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, the most fun that we had that we have now to date is is um, the enjoyment our fans get out of it. Um, it's really great uh, having music that they appreciate that they generally they, they always sing along with us yeah, when yeah, when yeah. when when oh, our songs come. Song. They know all of our songs, and um, that's why it's so exciting to um, with this new release. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're you know we're hoping to get keep that going. The new release is packaged and ready to go. Yes, yes, sir. yes. Right. Continuum. Yeah. It's our what fifth, sixth new album. Sixth. It's our yeah. sixth, yeah. sixth all new album. Uh, and and yeah. you know, some people would say that six albums in forty years, God, the OJ's must have done like twenty by then. <laughs> yeah, but something. a lot of people don't like to go back into the studio well some people do but <coughs> there's there's a difference between the business then and the business now right right it's very different now mm -hmm. yeah. it's a business Actually, now we're doing a self-release we're, yeah. we're not affiliated with the record company at this time and yeah. mm -hmm. you know a lot of record companies are not what they used to be back in the day either right right mm -hmm. and they're not signing acts you know of our Caliber. 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 But but you guys make most of your money on the road, right? Concerts and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well, that's always been people. that's always been the case yeah. in, in, yeah. in the record industry. Well, not just for us, but most of the money has usually been uh, available for, for mm -hmm. tours and, and concerts and things like that. Yeah, Especially yeah. back in the day when you were dealing with the record labels and you got such a small percentage on you yeah. know, and you didn't sometimes they wanted all the publishing. Right, you know, right, and right. even your royalty percentages were low. And these so. days, the shelf life, what they call the shelf life of, of, of a record or an album, whereas back in the days, you might have had a single that lasts a year yeah. or something like that, and an album That's might true. last a couple of years. Uh, these days, it's very, very short. There's a short amount of time to where you can optimize on sales and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. After a minute, everybody's got it, so yeah. forth and so on. So it's a very different landscape. And distribution is different today, oh, man. right? Totally. Now we yeah. got iTunes and all these right, other electronic yeah. mm -hmm. ways of uh, getting your music out there. And piracy. All the mom and you pop stores are going. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. All the mom and pop stores are going, as you know. Right, record right, right. stores, there are no more corner record stores. There's no more Birdells. There's no more Record Shack, so forth. Even the larger corporations like HMV, Tower Records, Wow, stuff yeah. like that. They're all gone. Virgin, Megastore, gone. Wow, yeah. So yeah. distribution is, is becoming completely digital. 
in terms of availability to the public through mass media, through cable, mm -hmm. through iPhones, everything like that. So you have to kind of switch with the wave. Yeah. Now you guys have been all over the world. Russell, talk about some of the places you've been. Um, well, we performed in Europe. We performed in South America, but there's no place like like, like home. America. Yeah. We yeah, actually like did a show um, yeah. mm -hmm. um, down at 34th Street about a month ago, uh -huh. and the response was so endearing. I mean, yeah. it was us and um, Colonel Abrams and Dan Roy Morgan. We, and Dan Roy Morgan. And when yeah, we came so out, good. the people were like so happy to see us. Mm -hmm. So, it's, you know, when you come home, it's nothing like being at home. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of babies are born with the records you guys <laughs> keep talking <laughs> about. <laughs> <that. out. laughs> it's true. I did the weekend edition of The Quiet Storm on WBLS. Vaughn mm -hmm. Hopper did, uh, did it during the week. Yeah. But when we played something like, don't turn around, mm -hmm. shoot, phones would light up. Well, <laughs> really? well we, we were fortunate oh, yeah. at the beginning. People would call and say, why? Yeah. They would tell us what they're doing. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and ask what you're doing after you get off. I, but go ahead. We were, <laughs> we were fortunate enough to begin when, when uh, during the period of the romantic song. Huh. Um, and when you could have romance in your lyrics and really do something nice, meaningful. Uh, lyrics have changed and evolved over the time. But yeah. we come from a very romantic era. So back then, when we did songs like Don't Turn Around, You and I, I'll Find a Way. People would get all hugged yeah. up and stuff like that. So oh, those were all grind them up records, right? That's there. right. <laughs> yeah. Now it's a little bit more explicit. So yeah, yeah, basement, yeah. Yeah. just go straight to it. Now they grind. Clyde don't know about this stuff. Huh? Red light in he the basement. Know? You know. Yeah, yeah. That subtlety that we yeah. had going on back then. But then you have mainline. You kicked it well, up. You a know, notch. at that point it was, you know, a few years after we had started, so the sound had changed. So we were trying to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Go with the flow. Be current and stuff like that. And then, uh, which which we're trying to do on this cool. album, too. It's not what we used to do primarily. It's, you know, we have the, the bass sound that folks from back right. then are going to like. But then we, we're trying to give people stuff they might hear on the radio today. All right, so mm. give us a tease. What should we uh, expect with this new CD, this new uh, record? Here you go, here you go. When you say uh, expect, you mean specific songs or just in terms of styles? Yeah. Well, I think that this new CD... Uh, reflects our own individual artistic musical aesthetic um, because the way we approach this album was each, each of us has our own production company and each of the production company submitted the oh, tracks cool. right. you know completed yeah, yeah. tracks for the album All right and um, finally after 40 41 years each of us got a chance to tell our stories in our own ways you know to express ourselves musically oh, okay. the way we always wanted to do um, we we did a little bit of it in the past with our third and our fourth, fourth album, album yeah. mm -hmm. but we were still held back a little bit. You know, we still mm -hmm. were collaborating yeah. with other producers and other writers, uh, but this project is totally us. And another thing about this project is, as he said, it's a reflection of where we are as opposed to where we were. Uh, the music of the romantic era that we began with, yeah. it's, that all has its place and it's, it's well placed where, where, where it was. Right, right. Uh, music is going through 40 years of evolution, fast temples, disco is coming, dance music is coming, house, so forth and so on, and to be relevant with the current marketplace, the hip hop and stuff like that, yes. you have to reflect that. So this album is a reflection of, of all of the things that we experience yeah. that we love. Uh, who's the baby of the bunch? Me. <laughs> <laughs> can't you, you guys have Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> you have children of your own? I have, I have five children mm -hmm. um, and three grandkids. Yeah. This kid's are mine too. <laughs> 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 oh, I've adopted quite a few. <laughs> all right, all right. Black Ivory in the house, y'all. Give them a big round of applause. I think we're going to check them out on stage in a little while. We're going to hear some old, some new. Thanks, guys. Up next, Black Ivory will, well, they'll show us what they're working with. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Very special performance up next. You definitely don't want to miss it. So stick around right here. Channel 67 is open. <laughs> 